Kamusta kayo mga amigo at amiga and this is the Senorito Jake De Leon and you are listening to the 123 Podcast. For each and every one of these people who supported me through thick and thin, I always believed in what I stand for and that's being me, Jeff Hardy. What? me as your chief. In case you forgot, in case you never knew, I am the rated R superstar. Attention. Do I have everybody's attention now? Welcome to the show where we talk anything and everything wrestling. Welcome to the One Two Three Podcast. How are you guys doing today? I am very excited because this is the first episode of the show. That I'll be recording with a new mic. <laughs> it's not exactly brand new. Um, it's not exactly brand new. I got this three weeks ago, and back when I was when I went a bit a wall, and uh, yeah, um, this is the first episode of the show that I'll be recording with the mic. So if you noticed any difference in terms of quality, then that's good. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully the difference that you guys are about to notice is quite better. I hope it's quite better than the last time because let's face it, um, the dogs were barking a lot during the start of the show up until the last episode um, or up until the last time I actually recorded without a mic. Um, that was the squash match for 10 years of the pipe bomb. And someone commented, someone commented that, you know, dude, you got to get a soundproof, like, room if you're going to run a podcast. But then uh, Ro from the Wrestling Wrestling Podcast, who follows me on Twitter, so shout out to him. Um, he, he basically suggested that I should just, like, get a cardioid microphone. And uh, just like a cheap cardioid microphone that would only pick up what's in front of it. So I was like, all right, that sounds, that sounds cool. And that sounds way cheaper than getting myself a soundproof room. So I got one and this is what I'm using right now. So I'm not going to specify what mic I'm using right now because I don't want to like, set a discussion about mics um but yeah basically today we're gonna be talking about my thoughts on the entire cm punk to aew fiasco or rumors so yeah we're gonna be a little bit laid back for today because i was fired up i was fired up in the last episode to say the least i was too fired up that i missed some details and someone had to point it out so once again, shout out to Ro from the Wrestling Wrestling Podcast for pointing those out. It was my mistake. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today we're going to be a little bit laid back, which is pretty cool. Um, we just, we're just going to have like a chill episode for today. I'm going to tell you all my thoughts on the CM Punk rumors, you know, him going to AEW. So here's a bit of a, I'm not sure if the rain is heard. Hopefully not. So yeah, here's a bit of a background of the entire rumors surrounding CM Punk. So according to Fightful, a new report says that CM Punk could be on his way to pro wrestling. According to them, he is in talks with Tony Khan and the most likely scenario is that CM Punk is going to make his in-ring return in AEW. Now, just reading that, just reading that article or rumor, it's already huge. But my thoughts about this entire rumor going on is that I don't believe it. I don't believe it as of right now because uh, I'll tell you all later on why. Um, but I definitely feel that there is a big possibility. There's a huge possibility since there are more like reliable sources reporting this instead of like, unreliable sources cough cough ringside news cough cough (laughs) 
but yeah, basically, ringside news is not that reliable for me. Um, because, especially right now, because um, what they're putting out, especially about the CM Punk rumors, are just 100% made up. Just reading the articles, I was like, yo, this is made up. They're just, like, they're definitely making up stuff just for publicity at this point because there are lots of dead giveaways just reading the article. <laughs> there are lots of dead giveaways. So I was like, so I was like, nope, nope. I'm not going to believe anything that Ringside News puts out because it's not that reliable. So, so the first reason why I actually don't believe about the rumors is that it's just another CM Punk rumor. We've seen these rumors many, many years ago. Ever since Punk left the WWE, we have already started seeing these rumors. Ever since like probably 2015, when uh, it, was, it was like a year after he left, everyone was just going like, oh, CM Punk is preparing for an in-ring return. He's going to come back to the WWE. He's going to come back to the WWE after that Colt Cabana case or after that blah, 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 blah. But then, um, nothing happened. Basically, nothing happened. Um, 2017, as I was starting to get back on wrestling, um, I was, I genuinely, like, believed the rumors. I genuinely believed the rumors back then because, you guys know me, I was, like, I wasn't that much, like, I wasn't that much of um, a matured fan back then. I was still, like, watching the show just to like enjoy the show like um if that makes sense um i was like just like back when i was a kid like i would watch wrestling just to enjoy it um like disregarding everything negative that's happened like for example um i remember back then when cena beat the nexus at SummerSlam, i was like holy shit yay john cena won um, I didn't cuss back when I was six years old, of course. I was like, holy cow, John Cena won? That's good. I mean, right now, um, my views have changed. <laughs> my views have definitely changed since that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, basically, um, I was like, yo, looking at the CM Punk rumors, I was just like, yo, CM Punk is coming back. CM Punk is coming back to the WWE. Yes, I've been waiting for this. I mean... <laughs> I stopped being a wrestling fan back in 2014 and I told myself, yes, I was waiting for this. Go figure, man. Go figure. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, yes, CM Punk is coming back. And then nothing happened. And then 2018 came in. He was rumored to appear at All Out and I was like, yo, this is, if Punk doesn't like appear at All Out or All In, rather, if Punk doesn't like appear at All In, then I'll I'll be very disappointed. And he didn't. So I was like very disappointed. And I was like, yo, I am done with the CM Punk rumors. Like, I'm done with this. I am so done with this. I'm done with hoping that Punk is coming back because he's not. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to believe the rumors. And uh, fast forward to this week or last week um, at the time of this recording. The rumors came out and I was like, yo, there are more reliable sources reporting about this rumor. And uh, I told myself, nope, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. You've done that before. You have done this before. You don't want to get your hopes up. So I didn't get my hopes up. And uh, yeah, as of now, I don't believe the rumors because it's just another CM Punk rumor. I'm not going to believe this rumor until I see CM Punk come out at AEW. Like, that's the only time I'll believe this rumor is real. Same thing goes with the Daniel Bryan rumors. I mean, yeah, the Daniel Bryan situation is different from the CM Punk situation. But because basically Daniel Bryan is like an entirely different like um, breed or not really that breed, but not breed. But it's like an entirely different story because, um, as you all guys know, Daniel Bryan had, has no experience, has no history of trolling. 
and he is truthful. He's truthful to what he says, and yeah, um, that's like the big difference between the Daniel Bryan situation and the CM Punk situation. I'm very sure that Daniel Bryan would definitely come to AEW. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure about that because, like I said, DB has no experience or no history of trolling anyone whatsoever. So I believe it. I believe the Daniel Bryan situation. But the CM Punk rumors, I don't believe it because, number one, it's just another CM Punk rumor. The second reason is this is probably another troll. Because you guys know Punk. He loves trolling everyone. So I was like, nope, I'm not going to believe it because this is another CM Punk rumor. And this can possibly be a troll. So yeah, I told myself, no, I'm not going to believe the rumors just yet. Until I see CM Punk come out. And uh, yeah, up until I see CM Punk come out for real in AEW. Then that's when I'll believe the rumors. But despite the fact that I don't believe the rumors as of now, I feel like there's a huge possibility. I feel like there is a very, very huge possibility that this can happen because there are a lot more like reliable sources who reports about this. Unlike, unlike before where it was like Ringside News, Sean's View Entertainment, um, reporting these types of like rumors or like news so uh, yeah I was so yeah I feel like there's a huge possibility and if the rumors are true if Daniel Bryan and CM Punk comes to AEW this can be very very beneficial this can be very beneficial to AEW because this can legitimize their roster like, imagine having guys like Chris Jericho, John Moxley, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, and all other talented guys like Hangman Adam Page, Sammy Guevara, Jake Hager, and all those guys. Um, imagine getting Punk and Brian in that roster. That would definitely legitimize the AEW main event scene. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, just and the possible matches that we can get is a lot. There, there are lots of possible matches that we can get once we see CM Punk in AEW, like Kenny Omega versus CM Punk, CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes, CM Punk versus Chris Jericho, a rematch from WrestleMania twenty eight. So yeah, there are like a lot of possible matches that we can see if CM Punk goes to AEW. Same thing goes with Daniel Bryan. Same thing goes with Daniel Bryan. But we know who's the bigger star in them, and it's CM Punk. So naturally, he'll get all like the big stars in AEW, like Kenny, like Cody, like Adam Page, possibly, once he is established as a main eventer. Jericho. Like I said, Jericho. Um, we can get a lot of great matches in AEW, when CM Punk comes in. If, like, the rumors are true, then I'll be very, very excited. Then I'll definitely watch AEW because as of late, I haven't been watching, like, a, an entire episode of Dynamite. Like, I've been seeing some highlights on Twitter, and that would be it. Uh, I haven't, like, watched, like, haven't watched an entire episode of Dynamite ever since last year. I... Like, ever since um, Sting made his debut and Kenny Omega won the title. Like, ever since winter is coming, basically. Um, I haven't watched an entire episode of Dynamite. And if CM Punk comes in along with Daniel Bryan, then that would be must-see television. That would be must-see. And uh, speaking of must-see, if CM Punk comes to AEW then it would definitely attract more casual fans into watching AEW. And it can also, it can possibly attract lapsed fans. Because if you guys remember back in 2011 when Punk cut the Pipe Bomb promo, um, he brought a lot of fans back after that promo. So 
if like Punk comes back, then that could be a huge possibility as well. That can be a very huge possibility. So yeah, more eyes into AEW. Daniel Bryan is in AEW or probably Bryan Danielson. Um, when he, like, he's not in the WWE anymore. He's definitely not Daniel Bryan anymore if if he's coming to AEW. Um, so, yeah, basically, Mora is on AEW. Oh, CM Punk is here. Bryan Danielson is here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Like, that would be must-see. That would be must-see television. Must-see wrestling. That would be must-see wrestling. For AEW because, like I said, they have acquired two of the biggest stars in pro wrestling. Daniel Bryan and CM Punk, like we all know, like we all know, are huge stars in wrestling. Daniel Bryan being, well, the most, one of the biggest stars in the WWE in the last decade. Um, with, you know, the Yes Movement, the Authority storyline. And, uh, yeah, his, like, underdog story just was magical. I remember seeing it back in 2013, 2014. It was magical. It, and the uh, same thing goes for Punk, one of the most influential wrestlers in the WWE. Um, he started off as, like, this straight-edge guy. Yes, he's still straight-edge up until this day. But, um, you know, that generic straight-edge wrestler that we all know. And uh, and after the Pipe Bomb promo, he became the voice of the voiceless. And everyone loved CM Punk after the Pipe Bomb promo. He's won multiple world titles in the WWE. And uh, he's done a lot in the WWE, basically. Same thing goes with Daniel Bryan. And once they come to AEW... They would definitely like attract more eyes into AEW. Like more people would watch Dynamite. More people would watch Rampage if they would both appear in Rampage. And uh, many more people also will start watching the pay-per-views. Like because you have these guys. These two big stars in pro wrestling. In Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. And uh... As we all guys know, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are two amazing wrestlers. So that would definitely like be an uh, be like a very very like huge step up in AEW because they have guys like Moxley, they have guys like Jericho, they have guys like Cody, they have guys like Dustin, they have guys like Kenny. Like as much as I don't really like Kenny Omega's heel character. He is one of the biggest stars in AEW. So you got Kenny. And uh, if like they would have like a match. Like if if we would see like a CM Punk or Daniel Bryan match with one of these guys. Then it would be unbelievable. Let me tell you. It would be unbelievable. So yeah. Basically more fans would watch AEW if that happens. And uh like, as we all know, we have waited many, many years for this return. Because basically, imagine the pop that CM Punk would get if he actually appears in AEW. Like, just imagine the pop. Just, oh my goodness. Like, I'm actually getting chills right now just thinking about the, just thinking about the possible pop that CM Punk can get once he appears in AEW. Uh... Also with Daniel Bryan, that would be also a huge pop. But CM Punk would definitely like have a much louder pop. Probably louder than John Cena and Money in the Bank this year. Um, or equal to that. But yeah, just imagine the pop if CM Punk appears at All Out. That would be, that'd be goosebumps. That would be like a goosebumps moment. Especially when he actually, like, hits the GTS in one of the guys. Or hopefully Kenny Omega after, like, or Adam Page oh, when he wins the title. 
um, once Punk hits the GTS on Adam Page, that would be huge. That would be like a huge, huge pop. Like, I'm already like imagining many, many scenarios with CM Punk being in AEW. Um, a possible Adam Page versus CM Punk rivalry. A possible Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk rivalry. Oh, another Jericho Punk rivalry. They'll reignite that rivalry for the first time outside of the WWE. That would be very exciting. And yeah, basically, it will like go back to my earlier point that it would uh, attract more viewers into watching AEW. And uh, yeah, I am very, very excited for what the future holds for AEW. Like I said on the squash match, I am very excited because, like I said, if, if the rumors are true, AEW has acquired two of the biggest stars of the last decade. You know, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk. Daniel Bryan becoming like the most lovable underdog and the most hateable of heels in the WWE. And same thing goes with CM Punk. The most honest and the most controversial, like for me at least, the most controversial star in the WWE. And now they're going with a rival company. That would be very huge. Like I said, it would attract more eyes. They would legitimize the roster. And uh, yeah, just overall make AEW a very good show. Like, especially right now. Now that AEW is back on the road, they're now producing amazing, amazing shows. Like, even though I look at some highlights on Twitter... I feel like AEW has been delivering more great shows than they were during the entire pandemic era in AEW. So, yeah, I'm very excited for what the future holds for AEW. I am very, very excited if they actually like acquire CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. But um, in this case, I am more excited in the Daniel Bryan in the Daniel Bryan situation. Not much in the CM Punk rumors. Or the CM Punk situation. But. I feel like there's still a huge possibility. There's like that tiny bit of possibility. For me. Um, but as of now. I just don't believe it. But. I feel like there's still a possibility. So to end it on a positive note. I feel like. CM Punk and AEW. Would be very huge. It would be very huge. For the company. And uh, this would probably be the biggest moment in AEW ever since Double or Nothing. Ever since their first pay-per-view Double or Nothing back in 2019. So yeah, I'm very excited for what the future holds for AEW. And thank you guys for listening. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, hopefully the mic quality is like a lot better than how it did before. Um, because I was just using my earphones back in the first few episodes of the show. And right now I'm using a, a dedicated mic. So yeah, I'm very excited for how the quality is going to turn out. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you all enjoyed. And, uh, possibly more content coming soon. Possibly more content coming soon because our school is finally over. I'm about to graduate from high school. Um, at the time of this recording, I'm about to graduate high school because at the time of this recording, this Wednesday is like our graduation, virtual graduation, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited because school is finally over. I've graduated from high school and there would possibly be more content coming soon here on like on the YouTube channel of the show. So. I mean, I cannot promise y'all that because I am a, I'm quite a busy man. Um, especially when I'm like here in the house and all the sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll try my best. I'll definitely try my best to put out content for y'all. Not just the squash match. I'll probably continue behind the count. Um, I'll probably add more like variety to behind the count, not just like the 
like after the entire seven parter SmackDown versus Raw series. Um, but uh, yeah, possibly more content coming soon. I'll try my best to put out to put out content for y'all. So yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope y'all enjoyed. This has been JM. This has been the One Two Three Podcast. Peace.